What is up, you guys? Welcome back to a new video. I'm your girl, Adri Montanez, and clearly by the thumbnail, we know why you're here. We have a huge collective TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul, and this has been sitting here for two weeks. I just got back in from vacation, trying to get my life back in order, laundry, and I have so many videos that are just chilling that aren't fully edited. So we're gonna get the ball rolling. So if you are somebody who likes to shop, you like things on a deal. I, like I said, I'm a super senora, so like I like to look cute, but I love stuff in my kitchen, self-care, a lot of my skincare too. Pretty much 98.9% .9 of it is all from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I do use the Yuka app, so everything I use on my skin is all green. I think my makeup is about 95% cruelty-free also. So yeah, let's get into it. Plus I found the Hello Kitty vanity. We're gonna get to that too. Also, I am wearing some jeans. Uh, there is some clothes in here. I'm not gonna try them on, but I do have a pair of the jeans on, so I'll show you what they look like. So if you wanna get into this video, make sure you grab a snack, get you a little drink, kick back, and let me show you what I found at like the last three Marshalls that I went to. So the first bag, if you guys are not checking the clearances, like you need to check the clearance rack, okay? So I recently have lost a significant amount of weight. I am down over 35 pounds. So right now, since post-show two, I've put on about five pounds. If you don't know, too, and you're watching the series, I did compete for my first bodybuilding show, and it's been such a great, amazing, like, rewarding experience. I just learned so much, and I just, yeah, I'm just excited. I, I'm really happy. But anyway, so I've got rid of so many clothes, so I've been switching out, getting new gym clothes, all that. If you want to see even more, like, gym updated, I just got some new staple pieces from Amazon. I bought some stuff from Bombshell, whatever. Stay tuned. First things first, Marshalls. So this is Jessica Simpson. It was originally $29. I paid $24. Can you see that? Wait, can you see it? Oh, oh, can you see it? There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm dropping everything. I'm sorry. Is it blurry? I don't know. Is it $24? There you go. Can you see it? Wait. Okay. Right there. $24. I got this in a size small. Yep, size small. It's a cute little two-piece. I was actually going to make this my airport outfit. Yes, my airport outfit. It's like a light It's like a light sports bra. I wouldn't wear this like in a high compact workout or if I'm doing CrossFit or anything like that. But it's great for just like lounging or maybe a Pilates or a yoga workout. But for me, like I'm in and out going to the stores. I could just throw a throw over, have a sandals on and call it a day. Super cute. I got this for 24 bucks. It's really soft. I'm not a big Jessica Simpson fan, but I do like her stuff. So I can't hate next piece we have a windbreaker jacket super cute it's just a standard windbreaker i don't actually own a windbreaker jacket the one i have is like a 2xl and it's from adidas and i got it at a thrift store don't judge me also too in the back of it it has a back pocket i thought that was pretty cool it's definitely an outdoors right was it avalanche yeah so i thought it was pretty cool and then what i do like is that it does have a drawstring too so you can actually make it more form-fitting i like stuff more form-fitting now since you know your girl got a waist because i ain't never met my waist until now this i really like okay i know not everybody's for it but i've been wanting an oversized fanny pack i know like the lulus are really trending i'm really just not a big lulu fanny pack person i put more stuff in mind maybe that's just what it is but it's very jurassic park vibes it really is it's a reebok brand so this one was 14.99 by Reba and again it has multiple compartments I like multiple compartments it just works for me when I go to the park with my son or if, like we do like a mommy on Sunday this is really all I need I just feel comfortable because I put more things in here and if you follow me on social media you know what kind of things I put in there you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about a certain amendment you know you could put a little more things in here we'll just say that you can put a pocket knife also got some socks for my little one little Nike socks I can't believe how big his feet are getting. So I got him some basic Nike socks. Then I also picked up a new belt. I got rid of all my old belts. This is by Vince Camuto. I got this in a size medium. So at retail, this belt is $28. I don't know if you could see it again. Probably not. And I just got a standard belt. It has a little bit of like of a weird, I guess, I don't know, a little design on it versus like a standard black belt. So I got this for me because I actually don't own a belt. Like I'm terrible, I don't own a belt. I also picked up this. Now, this was a nice steal. So, I mean, sometimes I, I don't really care about brands, but if it looks cute, I'm here for it. So, this is from Zara. It's just a little crop blue sweater. I paid $7.99 for it. $23 at Zara. It is a size medium if it's just right. If you have big chichis, it'll fit you. Put something under though. During the winter, too, I love to like do tight curls or like mousse my, like scrunch my hair. 
I just like, like I said, I'll diffuse it. So I started using this last year and I really liked it. It's by Mark Anthony Strictly Curls, Curl Defining Lotion. Really great. Um, it's only $4.99. So usually at like CVS or any other beauty stores, you're going to pay about 8 bucks and up for it. So you're saving half the cost. I'm like, why not? Uh, I'm actually going to do a declutter in my beauty supply closet because I have like products in there I probably don't even reach for anymore. Mascara. I'm not picky with mascara because I have little eyes. I have a little eyelashes. That's why I glue them on. These were only $3.99. It's a volumizing mascara. I also picked them one from LMA, but I already opened it. This was really nice. I think this is really great, especially with the holidays coming up and you like doing like little gifts. I love doing stocking stuffers, and this year I'm very particular who I buy Christmas gifts for. But Mara Badusku, uh, the lip balm and um, what is it? Lip balm? Yeah, lip balm and the lip mask. I'm sorry. This was only $9.99. Again, it's cheaper because at the actual Ulta, you're going to pay $16 for this thing. So this was a nice little bundle here, and it was only $9.99. Jeans. Okay, so my jean size originally was like a size 11. Now I'm wearing like a size 3, size 4 in women. So I bought these recently. They're just some standard American Eagle um, straight leg mom jeans. I got them in a size 4. It's crazy, like I'm a size four, if you could see it. But yeah, they're super loose. I even could have went down a size, but I didn't want to. And then I also picked up these. These are new ones too. Oh, what is the brand called? I think I have the brand. Oh, it's by Curve. Let me show you the brand. Curve Apparel. Really great. If you are somebody who likes stretchy, soft jeans, these are it for you. Like, seriously, they go all the way down. They were only $19.99 super form fitting so I guess you could say they're right above like the belly button like right there so I don't mind I like wearing a lot of crop stuff so this is perfect and with the way I'm going I'm actually going to be going down another challenge this winter so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on clothes I just don't want to do it especially with jeans like last year I spent like I spent like a few hundred just at Levi's and I'm like I don't even wear them anymore because I they don't even fit me so TJ Maxx has been my, TJ Maxx, Marshalls has been my go-to. They have great jeans, you guys, $16.99, 20 I think the most expensive ones I've seen so far are $29.99. You can't beat it. Stop sleeping on Marshalls. Um, I also picked up some basics. Uh, if you've not seen this brand, Joe & Co., oh my gosh, they are so fire. Literally, this little top was $7.99. It's definitely like a great rib material. It definitely reminds me of like more of like the higher, more expensive brands. You're just not going to pay, obviously, a full brand like, you know, like, I don't know, I guess you could say, like, what, like a bombshell or, like, an alpha leaf. But they're really soft, and you can actually, they're, like, multi-use. You can use them for just about anything. I like wearing these with high-waisted jeans and just throwing, like, a um, like a cardigan over. Again, this was $7.99. Anytime I see the colors, I'll go, like, uh, like just colors that I don't see. I just grab it because I already know if I don't grab it, I'm not going to see it. What's great, too, with these is you can actually size down on them. So the size I got is small, medium. They usually do small, medium, medium, large. I'm actually a triple D and the small medium still fits me and I still have room. She was gorgeous. I saw her as soon as I walked in and I'm like, yes. This was $6.99. Must. Super cute. I already paired it with my jeans just to try it on. I got in a small medium. Fits like a glove. And I love the color. So vibrant. This definitely takes me back to my personal days. Especially if NSYNC goes on tour. Like I'm here for it. But I found this little baby fat tube top so adorable and it was only $6.99 I had to get it like that's what I grew up on rock aware baby fat south pole like that's just what it was for me and then I also picked up this if you have not seen this brand I really like it sincerely jewels so what's great with this they have like jeans they have skirts they have denim everything it's just it's very affordable their basics are so soft you guys it literally just feels like cotton I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's just, it's so pretty. They do have their own site and everything, but I really recommend going to Marshall's. This was $9.99, but this is more of like a quality white tee. You know, maybe you're going to go out to a bar or maybe like a brunch, but you don't want to just be like in a standard basic. Because I got like my Walmart basics you could dress up, but like those are like more of my aesthetically pleasing basics, okay? Bought some wine glasses also, but they're downstairs and I just left them down there. Also, always hit the clearance rack. You never know what you can come across, but I got me a random shower cap. This was only $2. $2 jacket. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. My camera's tripping right now. It's probably jet lag too. There we go. 
silicone sponges because I'm a senora. I can always use sponges. I'm the type of chick, like if it's cleaning, I'm, I'm gonna look at it. I'm always gonna go for it. I got thank you cards because I do give thank you cards. Sometimes people give me things or I just, if somebody's done something great for me or like Jalinero or just the businesses that I, I like, you know, I put, put into, I like if I give them something, I like to give them a thank you card because I just feel like, you know, everything's so technology nowadays. Like I like to make the time to write it when I can. So there is a recipe I'm gonna make. This is um, some monk fruit sweetener. If you've not looked at this too, it's completely vegan, zero carbs, zero calorie, keto friendly. Um, I think it's only one gram of sugar. Is it vegan? Yeah, I think, yeah, it is vegan. Yeah, it's only $4.99. But I found this chocolate mousse. My girlfriend made it out of tofu and I was like, I'm with some chia seeds, but this, she used this as a sweetener. So I just picked this up because uh, it saves a trip to the market. And if you've been following me already, I love Masterclass. These are my favorite pants. Two of them have been destroyed since I went through prep. This was $9.99 and this one was $14.99. I use this size pretty much like for my pancakes or if I want to just steal some chicken breast real quick, saute some vegetables on the pan. It gets perfect and I like the size of it. It's not too big and they last. So these are like my favorite go-to pants. And lastly, oh my gosh. Okay, so I went with my girlfriend the other day. A little quick story time. Oh, I don't drink alcohol. But I felt so, like, accomplished, and I was like, you know what? She's like, do you want to have a mimosa? If not, it's okay, because everybody knows me that hangs out with me. Like, I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't like a lot of sweets. I don't eat meat. You know, I eat very just, I'm very selective what I like to consume. I got faded on half a glass of champagne. Half a glass. Yeah, that, that, I, I don't drink. So she's like, let's go walk it off at Marshall's. And you know what we found in the midst of it? Destiny. We finally found the Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh, can you see it? Can you see it? Oh. So pretty much it's the LED rechargeable mirror. I've been wanting this for so long. I've seen this on TikTok the last few months and I'm like, I need to get you. But I have not found her. So she was, so retail she's like at 105. I got her for 79 at Marshalls. I didn't even care. I got it. So you can charge your phone right here. She lights up. I believe it has different, um, Dim travels and you can actually use it for travel also and I'm just like this is perfect too just because I am going to do something else this season. I don't want to say yet but you'll see she's perfect for travel and even too like where we plan to go as a family. This is a perfect great mirror and again 360 degrees swivel. I mean and it's Hello Kitty. It was a steal. So for anybody to, and I know some people are just like, oh, I can never go to those stores. It's too much. And I'm just like, look, you just don't know what you're going to come across sometimes. Uh, for me, I do a lot of my Christmas shopping and stuff. I go to Ross. I go to TJ Maxx. You just don't know. Like sometimes I like to make little beauty bags or wellness bags for certain girls. And you can find great products that I think are better than like Sephora or some of these high brands. I don't know. I'm getting older and I just, I really appreciate the simplicity of going to these stores. So... I think that is everything, you guys, from this haul. Yep, because that's all Target. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so I'm filming this video, right? And I was like, oh, I thought I had more. Why was this behind me? There's more stuff in here I forgot to show you guys. So the video looks a little off. We're just gonna go with it, all right? Because you want to see what I got. So I am a big kid at heart. Okay, I'm a fun mom. I'm a cool mom. I've been wanting this onesie for so long. It's a cookie monster onesie. It's a whole vibe. Dude. I and she was a he she. He was only what 19 yeah, 1999. He was 1999. Um so they kept I kept seeing like larges and my mom found one in a medium. I could use a small, but I'm like it's perfect for the holiday season cuz like I'm going to wear that everywhere. So I've also been wanting a new robe. So I bought this kind of big, but I really just didn't care. So this was $19.99. It's from Marshalls. We're still at Marshalls. And it's a Juicy Couture robe. You could see it, the Juicy. Super cute. I like the color. Um, I do have a robe I've been using from Walmart for so long. There's just nothing wrong with it. But, you know, I feel like it's a new season. I'm a new woman. I thought she's really pretty, so I got this one. Um, they have a bunch of different ones, you guys. I like the subtle pink. I know they have louder prints, but... It's cool. <sighs> Did I need this? No. But do I like it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you see the brand? Who is that? It's Aldo. It's an Aldo purse. Okay. 
this one I saw and I'm like, ah, it just spoke to me. This was $29.99. It's also got like a little, like a coin. It's got like a little coin purse. It's small, but I like, honestly, like it, just for anybody who knows me, I love tote bags. This year I've actually bought more tote purses because I have an old one from Aldo. Uh, let me show you actually what it looks like. Hold on. This is my old Aldo purse, but it's been so used. You could see, like you could see the, the handles, how they're just, they're wearing off. The front still looks okay. Um, and you know what's crazy is these sell really well on Poshmark. I just don't want to sell it because they don't make bags like that. So this one really spoke to me because it's a little more of a richer pink. It's small. Um, I like it though. It's got it's a crossbody, but I love pink, so it's my favorite color. Like my favorite color. Also got some more leggings. Nothing special about these. These are by the brand Yoga Licious Luxe, which are really popular on uh, TikTok. If you're always looking for a dupe for Lululemons, these were only $16.99. They're very, very soft. They do have that. Um, they have that like waistband clincher. It's not seamless, but I've lost so much weight that honestly it doesn't bother me. It's still really flattering, but I like this color. It's like a it's like a washed gray with a little bit of green. It's just a really nice color. I like it. It just there's a there's a there's a term for it, but I don't know what it is. But I got these. I got these overalls. They are in a size. They're by the brand. What is it? Oh, Blue Spice. Blue Spice. I got these in a size medium. So retail these overalls were. Why am I struggling with these? They were twenty five ninety nine. Okay, so these are only twenty bucks. These were only 20 bucks, but for what they are, you guys, I like them. They're a little more tapered in, even like on the waist, so you can wear like a cute crop top with them. I still, I still think they're pretty good with the season, plus I have cowboy boots. They look so cute with some cowboy boots. But yeah, I bought overalls. So I have overalls, and I have like one, two, three, I think I have four new pairs of jeans, or three, just that's it. That's going to be my season, because... That's just going to be my season. So this is from the brand earlier I talked about, Sincerely uh, Jewels. This is a size small. That's the brand. I got this for $6 and it's just like a little skirt. I thought I could wear like a cute white blouse with this. Maybe like more of like a like a tie up blouse because I have one and I could wear this with some boots. I would actually probably do black blue boots. I could do I could do anything. I actually have some really pretty taupe ones. Like there's a few ways I could dress this up but I thought for the season or even wear like an oversized crop sweater. That's the best part now with fashion. I just feel like if there's pieces that are appealing to me that I can work with, I'm going to go for it some nail brushes so if you like getting your nails done please clean under your nails don't be a cochina so these were only these are wooden nail brushes they were only $3.99 get you some nail brushes okay toothpaste so I don't use any type of fluoride or anything like that so this is the toothpaste that I use it's $4.99 if you guys ever need a toothpaste you can go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls they have a lot of great alternatives I scan them on the Yuka app this is the Himalaya brand and I love it so it's a staple in my household I picked up these because I don't have anything like this and I should have took these to Hawaii and I completely forgot about it. But this is a little brush set with a case. It was only $7.99. It's really small, dainty, and it has your basic, um, your blush brush, your eyeshadow brush, powder brush, foundation brush, and an angle brush. So it's just perfect. It's not too much, really small, compact. And honestly, this is probably the best I've ever traveled. So anything to be more smart with traveling, I'm here for it. This was a little bit of impulse, but I liked it. It's a glow up body brush. So I do have body bronzer and I struggle when I put it on. I just put it all over my hands because I'm psycho. And yeah, she was only $3.99. So I picked up this and I do need some new brushes. So I bought some on Timu months ago on my haul. I mean, they're cool, but if you wash them the way I wash them, they eventually start deteriorating and break. But you know, for what I paid for them, I think I only paid like four or five bucks for them. I don't really care. But I did pick up a new brush set. These are from uh, BH Cosmetics. These were $12.99. I'm going to wash them a little bit later. And usually I use a hyperallergenic uh, or hypoallergenic uh, soap. I'll wash them in cold water and just like let them dry. But yeah, this is just a full, um, you know, round powder brush, angle, mini, large, small, um, taper brush, round crease, liner brush. So it's got all the basic essentials. So I'm probably going to replace some of my old ones and replace it with these. Ooh, and last but not least... So I've been looking at these, all right? These are by Madden Girl. Steve Madden, I'll be honest, they have great shoes. Terrible quality. Terrible quality, long term. You're probably like, then why'd you buy them? I just learned so much when I sold shoes back in the day. I sold shoes at JCPenney's, Macy's. I worked at a private boutique. I worked at Baker Shoes, which they don't even have anymore. Those are, just, those are shut down. But they're just not the best. But for style, for what I'm going to wear them for, they're fine. So I picked up these. These were $29.99. 
They're chunky shoes. They're kind of like, like a dupe like that Balenciaga type of vibe. I got them in a size 8. Um, they fit great. I'm pretty much going to use these just for like, like, they just chill. Like if I were to go have like, if some of my girlfriends are like, hey, we're going to go grab coffee and stuff and it's chilly out, I'll put my chunky shoes on versus putting on like, you know, like my Ugg boots or something, you know. I, it's just a little more trendy. I like the staple. I love the color. It's like a really nice, um, like a beige, like a make nude. And I love the color. I feel like that color just never gets old. And sometimes it's just nice to get away from the white, you know. Okay, so anyways, I think I'm really done now. I'm looking, I'm like, okay, did you get everything? Yes. So anyways, that is my whole collective haul when it comes to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Until the next video, I will catch you on the next one.